Okay, we will still be discussing sets, module 1, but it would be on lesson 2, description of a set. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to represent sets in different ways, appreciate the importance of sets. So we can represent sets in three different ways. Number one, using descriptive notation. Two, roster method. Three, set builder notation. Okay, descriptive notation or verbal description notation. It is a method of describing a set in words. Example, set A is the set of whole numbers less than 4 or we can use capital letter equals then the symbol braces then we write the description inside the braces so it would be whole numbers less than four number two set b is a set of vowels in an english alphabet or capital b equals we use the braces and we write the description inside the braces Vowels in an English alphabet. Set C is the set of days of the week. Or capital letter C equals days of the week. Number four. Set D is a set of letters in the word mathematics. Or capital D equals, we use the symbol braces, and write this description inside the braces letters in the word mathematics so do you know now how to write using descriptive notation okay let us now proceed to the next one poster notation or listing method it is the method of listing each element of the set inside the symbol braces okay each distinct element is listed only once so you don't have to repeat if you have two elements with the same letter example a or same letter of b so the order of the elements does not matter so it could be the first element is three the second element is two the second the next element is one Okay, let me show you an example. So, if we have set A equals full numbers less than 4. So, this is the descriptive notation. So, how do you write the elements of the set? Or you will list down the elements of the set. So, it would be set A equals the whole numbers that are less than 4 are 0, 1, 2, and 3. Second example, so set B equals vowels in an English alphabet. So let us now list down the elements of the set B. So we have set B equals, we use the symbol braces and we will use small letters as the elements of the set. So the elements of the set are A. E I O U. Our next example, number three. Set C, days of the week. So, using listing method, we are going to determine the elements of set C. So, what do you think is the answer? So, it would be set C. The elements are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can also start with Sunday or any days of the week. So as long as you completed the seven elements of set C. All for rooster notation or listing method. Number four. Set D letters in the word mathematics. So if we're going to count the letters of the word mathematics, we'll have 11 letters. So, since we have a ruling on rooster notation, 
that we're not going to repeat same letters so what are what would be the elements of set D what do you think is the correct answer okay so it would be set D the elements are M small letter M only small letter A small letter T H E so the next letter should be M since there will be no repetition the next one the same with A the same with T the next one will now be I letter C and then last would be letter S so from 11 letters it would only be 8 letters okay so we're now ready for the last ways on how to represent sets set builder notation so it is a method that lists the rules that determine whether an object is an element of the set rather than the actual elements so example so if we have set a equals so we read this as the set of x such that x is a whole number less than four so that is that is how we write using set builder notation number two set b the set of x such that x is a vowel in the english alphabet number three So, it would be set C, read this as X, such that X is a day of the week. Last example, set D, X, such that X is a letter in the word mathematics. Okay, so do we have any question? Okay, very good. For now, you already understand the different ways on how to represent sets. Okay, please pause the video to answer activity 2 in your module. We will explain one item in the activity for you to check whether your answer is correct. Please pause the video. Okay, so in activity 2, in descriptive method, the given is P, set P, prime numbers below 15. So you're going to complete the table. You are going to write an answer in the listing method. How are you going to represent set P? Using listing method and using set builder notation. So what should be the, the answer? So, rooster method or listing method, the prime numbers below 15 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Okay. Using set builder notation, so it would be set P equals the set of X such that X is a prime number below 15. Okay. Did you get the correct answer? Very good. Okay. Thank you for watching the video on lesson 2. So again, keep learning. So this is Mambadet. This has been in collaboration with Mom Cheryl Mayti Rodriguez and Mom Christine Marie M. Pamon. Thank you for watching lesson 2.